in this video we are going to derive the thermodynamic maxwell equation number 3 for that we start with the definition of the a the definition of a is equal to e minus ts so this is the mathematical definition of the a work function so here if you take differentiation of this equation then you will get differentiation of a is equal to differentiation of e minus t constant differentiation of s minus s constant differentiation of t this is equation number 2 then we have the value of de that means differentiation of e is tds minus pdv so if you put the value of d into equation number 2 then we will get differentiation of a is equal to tds minus pdv minus the tds minus sd t equation number 4 so this is the term or this term is nothing but the value of t then here plus tds minus tds get cancel what remains differentiation of a is equal to minus pdv minus sd t this is equation number 5 now if you observe equation number 5 then we have we will have two quantities dv and dt dv and dt so in part first we are making uh, temperature constant temperature is going to constant and if we make temperature constant then change in temperature is zero and if we put the value here change in temperature is zero then this term is zero then equation 5 becomes as da is equal to minus pd v now in next step we transfer this dv on to this side then we will get da that means variation of a with volume and temperature become constant is equal to minus p this is equation number 6 now we are going to differentiate equation number 6 with respect to temperature and at constant volume then equation 6 become as this said on the left hand side double differentiation of a with volume with temperature at constant volume is equal to minus differentiation of p with temperature at constant volume equation number 7 now in second part volume become constant if you make volume constant then change in volume is zero and if you put the value of dv is equal to 0 at here in equation number 5 then this term is zero then equation 5 becomes as da is equal to minus s d t this is equation number 8 now this dt transfer to the lhs side then we will get da upon dt at constant volume is equal to minus s this is equation number 7 so variation of a with temperature at constant volume is the nothing but the negative value of entropy now equation number 7 differentiate with respect to volume at constant temperature then equation 7 becomes as double differentiation of a with temperature with volume at constant temperature which is equal to minus yes so differentiation of s with volume at constant temperature this is equation number 10 so here we have work function a a is a state function we know that and differentiation of differential of a is exact differential then this term the constant v term d square a upon dv dv dt at constant volume is equal to this term d square a upon dt dv at constant temperature 
this is the question number 11 that means double depression of a with volume and temperature at constant volume is equal to double depression of a with temperature and volume at constant temperature if you put the value of this volume constant here or if you replace this term with this then the LHS side of equation number 7 and equation number 10 is equal same then RHS side of equation number 7 and 10 are equal so this is the minus dp upon dt at constant volume that means variation of pressure with temperature at constant volume from 7 equation is equal to minus ds upon dv at constant temperature this is 12 so here variation of pressure with temperature at constant volume is equal to minus variation of entropy with volume at constant temperature minus minus plus then the variation of pressure with temperature at constant volume is equal to variation of entropy with volume at constant temperature this is equation number 13 and this is the Maxwell equation number 3